Welcome back to the Tomarosa. It's been a rough couple of days, so we have some news to share with you about Daisy. And we're not gonna we're not gonna drag this out. So it is bad news. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we lost her calf. She lost her calf, and so that's very sad. But uh, Daisy is doing okay, and uh, we will uh, recount what's been going on. So today is Saturday, May 8th, and on Thursday, May 6th, which was actually her due date, in the morning, I noticed a dark red, bloody brown discharge from her vulva, and that is not a color that you wanna see coming out of an animal. It's just not a good color. So we had the vet come out in the morning. She, uh, we had already taken the temperature. It was normal for a cow. Daisy was doing normal cow behaviors, but she was not appearing to be going into calving. I examined her later in the afternoon and her cervix was still pretty close. I mean it was open you know a little bit but not anywhere near where it needed to be for calving and the vet came back out and um, pretty much you know confirmed that as well. Yeah that she was still not calving and we still weren't sure what was going on with this discharge. It looked like it could be something with the placenta which is not normal for it to come out before the calf. Uh, we also did an ultrasound which was inconclusive as to what could be going on. And so then we were kind of just trying to figure out things in the evening. Yeah we were making plans. We didn't know if we were going to have to be thinking about a cesarean section or using drugs to try and get her uh, cervix to open um, but we were just uh, looking at different options and we had some uh, other dairy mentors stop by as well uh, that evening. Uh, and those dairy mentors uh, they were pretty sure that there was a dead calf inside of Daisy. We uh, since she wasn't in any duress she didn't have a temperature we thought we'd try to see if nature could take its course because the best thing for her would be if she could somehow start calving even if we had to pull a calf. So we let her uh, rest overnight by herself in the barn and we were checking on her every two hours like we'd been doing the two previous nights. Um, and then the next morning I went to the vet clinic to pick up a medication that would help spur her on and while I was gone I got a phone call from Stacy. Yeah I was in the barn just kind of hanging back watching her and she laid down and it looked like she was going into labor so I just watched her. Uh, she expelled her water bag and then it broke. Um, I checked her again and I, I could feel the, the cervix had opened, I could feel the calf uh, placenta in front of it. It, it. it was not what I was hoping to feel by any means. Uh, so we had the vet come back out that morning and she waged an epic battle to uh, pull this calf out. She uh, uh, reached in and found the calf in the front feet, but the head was kind of swollen and backwards and the calf upside was upside down. down and it was a hot mess. So she worked really hard and uh, we uh, did get the calf out and it was unfortunately um, deceased and it was a Jersey bull calf. It looked like it was pretty much full term. And then uh, after the calf was pulled out, we gave Daisy uh, some banamine, which is an anti-inflammatory pain medication, and also a bottle of CMPK, which is calcium, potassium, uh, C -M magnesium, and Calcium, magnesium, potassium, and phosphate. Phosphorus. Phosphorus. One of those. Anyway, we gave her a bottle of CMPK to help um, just give her another boost after. I mean, that was a pretty hard calving for her. Daisy went through a pretty traumatic experience, so our focus was just on supporting her and uh, making sure she was doing okay. But I think the best motivator for her was we got up, we took off the halter, and we opened the gate. And she was like, okay, I'm done here. I'm gonna go out to pasture. Yeah. And it, you know, it appears that through everything that we did, all the placenta came out. So because we wanna make sure there's nothing going on with anything in our herd, and we wanna know what could possibly have caused this, we did decide to take the calf and the placenta down to Washington State University 
Yeah, so Virginia went down to, to WSU, which, which is a veterinary uh, school and, and hospital, and they also have what's called Waddle, which is Washington Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory, which is where we took the calf. But uh, Daisy, Daisy, uh, she was pretty much exhibiting normal cow behaviors. We checked her temperature again that night. And uh, this morning. And this morning, she's been having normal temperature. She's been milking fine. Uh, she's been eating. Uh, she's grazing. She's in the barn now with all the other cows. Uh, they come back and forth pretty regularly, but uh, I think she she is a little confused. You know, all the hormones. She, I mean, she thinks she she should be having a calf right now with her. So but, she'll uh, she'll be mooing sometimes, looking for a calf, and she's a pretty quiet cow, so we know that is what she wants. But. Rose is due on the 14th and she's already exhibiting signs of possibly getting ready to calve and we're hoping that she'll have a nice healthy calf and that will help out uh, Daisy because she'll have the calf around and it'll make her feel better. I do feel that we made the right decision of um, getting the vet out here multiple times to go ahead and get involved and get it taken care of. I think that is going to help her have a better recovery. So what does the future hold for Daisy? I mean, honestly, we don't know. It's too soon, um, but she is milking, so we're gonna we're gonna milk her for now. So, but beyond that, um, we're not sure yet. You know, we we gotta see how she recovers and and just see how we feel about things going forward. Yeah, we want to get the results from the university to make sure there was nothing um, that could indicate she should not be rebred because we definitely don't want to set her up for failure if there's something that's just not good. Right. So that's those, where we're at. Those results are at least a couple weeks out. Yeah, two to three weeks, they said. So to sum up, Daisy did have uh, a calf. It was a hard calving. It was uh, uh, basically a stillborn, and we don't know why. And we did everything we could for her, and she is doing well right now and appears to be making a full recovery. So that's farming and you know you all you can do is the best that you can do just like in life and all your pursuits and move forward so thanks for coming along with us as always on our journey we really appreciate all your support and we look forward to having more videos for you and we'll see you next time on the tomarosa